you want to do a fun exercise really quickly? <laughs> do I? <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> Ellen's bike is really, she's just <laughs> Tuesday the 16th of October and I am back in the New York office. I just came back from Australia, flew in on the weekend. Uh, so it's great to be back uh, and um, starting off the day, I'm going to see Minna and she's gonna be talking about phonetics and helping me say sell. And, um, and we're going to talk about values and, and, uh, and how we can get CEOs communicating better. So I'm really excited about that because it's something that we focus on a lot with our clients and I'm also le looking forward to what she can teach me. So that's the start of the day. So I'm going to head off to do that. So please join me. One of the things that I talk about a lot with our clients is the importance of storytelling from an entrepreneur's point of view to the employee. So tell the story of why the business was created and what the mission is and that that's so important for engagement and but also in relation to uh, delivering any sort of communication internally whether it be you know, difficult times or um, expansions or anything mm -hmm. a anything at all so mm -hmm. I was interested to know whether you have many entrepreneurs or CEOs coming to you for the purpose of being able to c communicate a clearer message to their employees because communication is the biggest issue we come across in workplaces. Totally, uh, you are absolutely right. And the biggest way we see that is uh, laterally, how can we communicate interdepartmentally in a really effective way and values are gonna be huge in that. You're here to help me though. Yes, okay. <laughs> You're here so to help my me today. Under, my understanding here <laughs> yeah. is that you may have a challenge pronouncing your own name. <laughs> in ways that uh, the American audience yes. can understand you. That's right. Uh, now, yep. first, I want to say that when we're talking about accents, I am never an advocate for eliminating an no, accent. No, I ever. definitely don't want to do that. It's, it's about articulation. It's not about the accent. So if you're finding that there are ways in which your articulation is challenging your message or name yes. being received yes. effectively, then that's something to address. Yeah, right. and, and that's the thing. I don't want to change my accent. It's just that it's quite frustrating yeah. every time I go to introduce myself yeah. that I have to keep repeating it. So it's if I can fix that one thing, yeah. it will make my life much easier. Awesome. Sell. Sell. Yeah. Sell. Sell. Yep. Uh-huh. And then we can, without the thumb being in the mouth, approximate it, right? So, That's good if I don't have to put my thumb yeah, in my exactly. mouth every time. Because to get the L up, right? So, sell. Sell. Yep, open it up a little more. Sell. Yeah. Sell. There you go. So, opening up a little bit on so the So, just got to open my mouth up more. That's it. And then making sure that we create that definitive placement for the L sound. Sell. Yeah, by finding the broad extension. Sell. 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 Yeah, I can totally feel the different placement of my tongue Amazing. in my mouth. So simple, but you have to practice. Yeah, totally. <laughs> sell. Sell. Hi, I'm Sell. Yeah, open up a little more on the vowels. Sell. Eh. Eh. Sell. There you go. I've got to get a bit more natural with it, I think. I will now never have to worry about not getting my drink at Starbucks now. There you go. <laughs> if, if nothing else, we've solved the Starbucks. Yeah. Natural. Yeah. <laughs> Heading to a um, uh, networking lunch here at Primary where um, Lisa is going to host a number of uh, business owners to get to know each other and uh, see how we can help each other. So I'm going to head there now. It's really good. I haven't actually met that many people here, so this is going to be cool. Carly. Carly. Hi, I'm Sel. Sel? Sel. 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 There you go. Sell. So. <laughs> I just. No. <laughs> no, I, was, I actually just had training on just then on how to say my name, and I've clearly has a need to do some more work. Hi everyone, I'm Sell. Sell. I am uh, the founder of What's Next PX, which I've just launched here in New York two months ago. We focus on uh, performance and engagement and culture, working specifically with entrepreneurs and how to fast growth small to medium business. I have been in business for 11 years from Australia and decided to come over here and see if I can crack this incredible city. Uh, I have two asks actually. 
One is at the moment I'm really practicing my um, explanation of our services because I've noticed that the way I explain things is, is perhaps a little bit different. So I would love any of you that would like to spend some time with me in a room where I can talk about what we do and get your get your feedback and questions so that will help me uh, settle into the market and also like I'm really fun to be around so you can just <laughs> hang out. Um, the other thing is uh, I am I have live a relatively unconventional life and so I'm documenting my life through a vlog called The Unconventional Life. You can see my great mate Jason who is um, shadows me everywhere I go. So if you'd like to follow that and um, you might see yourselves in it and, um, and you can look at some of the work we're doing in relation to um, vlogging for those of you who follow Gary Vee, it's very Gary Vee style. Um, so that's, that's what I'm doing, which I've never done before, which is really um, uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah. to meet other people and hear all the different cool different businesses that people are doing um, and build the community here. I really want to try and build out that community even more, get to know as many people here as possible. I just haven't had really had a chance to do that. Um, but there's an, a huge network just here, so yeah. I'm, all, I'm very much around the entrepreneur or the, the CEO being connected staying connected yes. and also performance like how do we how do we make people how do how do we have a business that is performing at its absolute peak mm -hmm. so how do you have individuals performing at their peak how do you have the business performing at that peak you can't do that if the if the founder isn't connected and and feeling good and I've gone through stages where I haven't been in a good place and the business has mirror imaged that um, so so this so I'm not just a, I'm really not just about making the employees happy and that's probably a differentiator in our space because everyone is talking to the employees but my view is no let's get the let's get the founder really connected really clear on what the vision mission values is really clear on what performance looks like because they don't actually know themselves and they should but they don't and it's quite normal not to and so we get them clear and then we filter it through yeah. because otherwise we have we have CEOs that go I can't get us in and go um, okay, can you go and you know, make my team happy or can you go and make sure they're doing the right thing? It's like, no, nah, right. not really. But you take a much more holistic approach. Yeah, yeah. and very founder focused. Yeah, well, so Cell has me on a strict water regimen. Mm -hmm. I need to drink how much? Four of those a day? Yeah, two litres. I'm on two and a half, but you need to be on two. This thing takes so long. <laughs> but it's the moment to breathe. It should have a little sign here saying, yeah. take a moment to Take a moment to breathe whilst you're collecting your water. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just give me another rundown of grill? Yes. Oh, sorry, I thought you finished. No. Oh, you pulled away I and did. I just went in I there. I got thirsty. I mean, it's <laughs> taking so long. <laughs> and I just jumped in. Hi, I'm Sel. Sel. There you go. Oh, nice nice, to, meet nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thanks so much and for coming in. Of course, absolutely. Yeah, it is really cool. Yeah, I'm so excited to hear yeah, you yeah, speak yeah, next yeah, yeah. week. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Hello, join us Thursday, October 25th yeah. here at Primary. I'm going to be talking to Sue Ellen Watts, the founder of What's Next PX, a company that works with CEOs and founders who are really committed to building peak performance businesses. What yeah. else are we going to be talking about? We're going to be talking about entrepreneurship. We're going to talk about startup life and also just how important it is to make sure that we've got our businesses and our people performing. We need great cultures, we need great cultures, but we also need performance. Happy people, happy yep. people. So if you're an existing business owner, if you're an aspirational business owner, Thursday, October 25th here at Primary. Yeah, we we'll, want to see you here. We'll see you then. Thank you. I, I really loved that meeting with Brill because we were so aligned. It's so good to have collaboration with people that have the same business philosophy as you and I'm I'm so passionate about vision mission values and how underutilized they are in businesses and, um, and that's you know something that I just want to spread the word on so it's just so good having that conversation with her and and the connections um, that I can make as a result of um, you know just being aligned in the work we do so that was awesome um, 
a good day. I'm off to do some more boring work that's not so interesting to watch, but um, I'm so grateful for everyone following along. This is vlog 004. Um, I'd love you to subscribe if you haven't so you can keep updated on, um, on what we're doing. And uh, yeah, thank you for following the Unconventional Life. Do you want to do a fun exercise really quickly? <laughs> do I? I don't know. Uh -oh. That sounds that, just the, the cheekiness in your voice. Okay, so I'm going to stand up and I'm going to shake my body out yep. with voice and breath. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's distressed. <laughs> Helen's, just this still so it's Helen's so distressed. Helen's so distressed. Yeah, it just felt good. Yeah.